This is the memory backup battery on a uh, Kenwood TM255A. It's an all mode 2 meter radio. And it's not too hard to get to. But what I'm going to try and do is replace it with a little holder and a new battery. See how we go. Alright, I like solder wick. I know some people don't, but I do. Normally I drag it backwards, for some reason I didn't do it that time. Left handed soldering, way scary with me. Of course, the battery stuck down. Battery is probably stuck. I don't know. Not stuck. Not stuck too much. Positive there, negative there. The flat connection goes to here, this little side bit. And this bottom connection goes to here, which means I've got to have it this way. So the bottom connection, which is the negative, goes to here. And the positive goes over there, because the positive is the outside ring. So the outside here is positive which is what goes, rubbers on this little tab here. So it's got to go that way. Like that. And it sits about there. Now I don't need, uh, I might put a bit of, it's a bit crappy there, I might put a bit of solder on there. I wasn't going to. I think I should put a little pad of solder here. Not too much. Bit there. Sits like that. Now I might just reflow this solder here. Just enough to stick it. So I can left handed solder here. That'll do. It's good enough for Australia, as Dave would say. And that'll do. Now I'll try and not touch the negative side, so the positive, just double check. 
the light in here is terrible. Um, so definitely positive there, negative there, and that matches up with this. So the positive, so like that. So the positive is this surface here, and the negative is the the button surface, if you like. So this has got to go in up the other way because it goes in like that. Because this these fingers here, these fingers here, it does have a positive there. Look at that. There is a plus there and a minus there. So I got it right. It sits in like that. Maybe. Here we go. Now hopefully it's the same battery. I'll put it back together and see if it works. Right, we'll check it out. So we'll set the EVFO to a repeater. Seven one seven five. One seven five. Uh, I've got to set the off the frequency, the turn axis, uh, B menu, that one there, up to 91.5. Ah, got to turn it on. Uh, turn. And that's that. So we'll do that. And that's all set up. So repeater there, club frequency there, turn it off. I'll turn the power supply off just to make people feel happy. Unplug it. And I'll wait a minute. Guess you don't need to wait very long. I've tried it before when the battery was knackered. Power supply in, power it up, turn it on, and there it is. It's still there. And there's the repeater. Now I can put some memories in and I can start using the radio a bit better. Well, that's that. A little job done.